in this uh, we are going to see what are different properties of rational number like uh, uh, closure commutative and associative and also distributive property and few things like uh, what are identities and what is inverse uh, uh, negative and uh, reciprocal so first we will start with uh, water properties and uh, since this is uh, uh, that there are different types of number and there are different uh, operations addition subtraction multiplication divisions so overall this property and types and operations it become lot lot of uh, example and, and combinations so i request everyone to watch this video till end and uh, try to understand how, what is this uh, properties how it is defined how we can check and once you understand this then for any operation for any types of numbers you can easily see that whether this property is true or not so uh, so keep watching this till end and uh, let's uh, start with uh, the first uh, closure property what is closure property suppose we have uh, uh, two numbers and we are adding that so there will be some results and for all this property remember that we are whenever we are taking some examples or in numbers it's the same type of numbers if we are talking about whole numbers it's whole numbers if integers then both are integers so it is same type of numbers on which we are going to check all these properties this is how we check about uh, these properties so say for example a plus b equal to c if a is integer and b is integer and after adding also the result uh, is an integer in that case we say that this is closed so what is closed here we are adding integers and we are doing uh, addition so we can say that integers are closed for additions or we can say also in this way that uh, for additions in case of uh, integers closure property is true so we are going to say that in which case which property is true or false so since there are so many combinations and if we check one by one it will take a lot lot of pages and uh, uh, time to explain so all that uh, we have uh, uh, composed in a simple very simple graph in graphical manner and you can see i am representing different properties in different uh, colors associative red commutative blue closure property black and this side is different operations and uh, top row you are seeing different types and uh, uh, true sign explaining that that property is true and cross sign explaining that that property is false so you can easily see that for addition everything is true that means for additions whole number integers rational numbers all are true for closure commutative and associative property similarly for multiplication everything is true so for addition and multiplication all properties are true and for division everything is false so these three are really very easy to remember so using this graph you can see how easy it is in case of addition multiplication everything is true in case of division everything is false so only we have to uh, concentrate on subtraction one in subtraction one also the easiest way to remember is that only for uh, integer and rational numbers it's a closed otherwise for uh, rest of the things it's a false so these three four things uh, uh, you remember and it's very easy to recall and draw this graph and what you need this and uh, i suggest you take a, uh, a screenshot or photograph of this and uh, refer to this whenever uh, going for exam or if you want to revise that so just now we have seen what is closure property if you are doing any operation on two numbers same type of numbers so result is also again same number same type of number in that case we can say it's closed next we will see what is commutative property commutative first uh, see what is commutative say if you are saying a plus c and if we swap the number if we change the position of number and still value is same in that case we are saying that it's commutative suppose 2 plus 5 and 5 plus 2 the result will be same in both cases so we can say that it's commutative uh, so 2 and 5 is what integers or we can say it's, it's whole number also and we are adding so we can say that in case of whole number in case of addition it's a commutative commutative property is true 
and that's what you are seeing in this graph also that uh, commutative property for addition is true now now see that uh, in case of subtraction it's false we will see here why it is like that let's take uh, two whole number 2 minus 5 now let's change the position of this 5 minus 2 what is the result here 3 what is the result here minus 3 it's not, not same we can see that in case of uh, uh, integers or in case of uh, whole numbers also in case of subtraction if we change the position the value changes that's why for whole numbers or for integers and even for that matter for rational numbers also it's not commutative for case of subtraction i hope you understand now what is uh, commutative property so just remember that in case of closure property we are checking that if any operation resulting into same type of number in commutative we are checking that just uh, swapping the number is, is not affecting that uh, resultant now next we will check associative property in case of associating uh, ca can you guess something ok let me say suppose we are adding a plus b plus c it is a different type of uh, grouping first we are adding a with b plus c and if we change the number here if we change the grouping here first we add a plus b and then we add c is that number going to be same or different the result if the result is same then we can say that this is associative for that particular uh, operation and for that particular type of number so as per this uh, uh, cheat sheet we can see that for additions everything is associative also for division nothing is associative for multiplication everything is associative also just uh, uh, take a quick example say 2 plus 3 plus 4 it's equal to 2 plus 3 plus 4 we know that it's going to be same so it's associative integers or whole numbers or even rational numbers are associative for addition but is that true for subtraction also let's uh, check with one example in case of subtraction suppose we are checking for associativity uh, in that case we are checking a plus uh, b plus c equal to a plus b plus c we have seen this in case of plus in case of addition numbers are associative but is that true in the case of uh, subtraction also let's check with this example suppose we have number here 2 minus 3 minus 7 so this will become 2 minus minus 4 equal to 6 here it will be 2 minus 3 minus 7 so minus 1 minus 7 and finally minus 8 we can see here that in case of uh, subtraction it is not associative because if we change the grouping the number difference the result totally different so this is not associative for subtraction and that is also what our cheat sheet saying here you can see that here all the red marks are closed. It's uh, false. So we have seen that closure, commutative, and associative property. So try to understand the definition of it, how we define it. So then you can check with any numbers, uh, any numbers of time. And there are some good examples in your NCRT books. So go and go through that example. Try to solve that. There are exercise also. Uh, we will come with exercise in the next video. But I suggest that you try to solve that first and then you can uh, uh, learn in next video how we can solve that exercise if something is you are not able to solve. And also if you have any question or any comment on that uh, what is this property you are not able to understand then please write in the uh, comment and definitely we will answer as soon as possible. Next uh, few things is important in this uh, while we are learning these properties. So 
it's an identity there are two type of identity additive identity and multiplicative identity what is that so take this two number 0 and 1 if we add 0 to any number the result will be same means same number their value will not be uh, difference so we can say 0 is additive identity for that and similarly if we multiply anything with 1 it will remain same in that case 1 is multiplicative identity so it's very simple just remember 0 and 1 0 is additive identity and 1 is multiplicative identity other thing is uh, negative or reciprocal negative means the opposite of anything suppose uh, we have 5 so what we are going to add in this so the total value will become 0 of course it is minus 5 so we can say minus 5 is additive inverse of 5 and vice versa also 5 is additive inverse of minus 5 and same is the case for multiplicative inverse in this case we are going to check suppose we have a number in what we are going to multiply so that the result will become 1 so obviously that is reciprocal of that suppose x we are going to multiply with something that need to be 1 by x so that it will become 1 say then for example suppose we have 10 so what will be multiplicating inverse of it 1 by 10 because then only it will become 1 ok it's a uh, simple next uh, and last thing is the distributive properties distributive properties is as per the name uh, as per the uh, this word itself it's saying something about uh, distributing and what we are distributing is here in case of multiplication of one number with the sum of any numbers if we sum first and then multiply and whether we multiply with them first and then we are going to add that both will be same and this is called distributive property so we are just uh, distributing this uh, a into on, on both the parts of it AB plus BC if both are same it will be same only and, and we call it distributive it's very simple in one line you can cannot AB plus C equal to AB plus AC if you are going to remove bracket it will become AB plus AC so this is called distribute now we are going to distribute A uh, for B and C so I, I hope this is uh, useful you know uh, now you know that uh, what is different properties and you also have uh, taken out of this um, uh, cheat sheet so you can quickly refer and remember this shortcut for addition multiplication everything is true for division everything is false for subtraction only in case of uh, closure property for integers and rational number it is true everything else is false Thank you so much for watching this video and if you have any question, any comment, any doubt or if you want to um, uh, bring some chapter or topics on priority basis because we are going to uh, upload videos one by one and it may take some time for other classes, other subjects and topics. If anything if you want with priority, please uh, comment and we will try to bring that video first. Thank you so much again for watching.